Hello, it is Kitty Blue. It is October the 20th, um, Tuesday, and I have a box opening today from Smart Doll. It just arrived. So, yes, we're going to do a box opening. Um, all the pieces that are in here are from the Chaos section. Now, if you're not familiar with the Chaos section, um, it's basically a section on the Smart Doll website where there are different um, items. Um, that are listed there that normally when the store is open they have like a bin full of items that may have some slight imperfections or something like that um, not all chaos items have imperfections um, there's been a lot of things that I've received that I haven't been able to see anything on uh, but it can be like just very small things it could just be that there might be a speck of a speck of uh, color or something on the head or the body or the clothing um there might be something a little bit different stitching or something like that but so far all the chaos that i have received i haven't seen anything wrong with them um it's been pretty much like brand new stuff that you would receive anyways um you do have to purchase from smart doll several times i believe it's two times now before you can um, buy anything in the chaos section. But sometimes you can find some great deals in the chaos section. Um, that, will, that is where you will find like blank heads, um, painted heads and bodies. Those aren't usually sold separately in the, on the Smart Doll website. So you can get those in chaos. And then um, he has prototypes sometimes and just random things. It's a really a lot of fun. Um, I've, you've probably seen quite a few of my box opening videos. But I never really explained it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna start doing some videos about Smart Doll and um, explaining different things. I mean, I'm I'm new to Smart Dolls only since last year. Um, I've known about Smart Dolls for many many years, but I didn't get my first Smart Doll until last April. And uh, since then, I've been kind of I've been kind of crazy about Smart Doll. They really are great dolls. Um, I really like them a lot. And, um, yeah. Enough talking. Time to open the box. So, yay! I see blue heads. Alright, so we've got lots of things in here. Um, I actually did two orders because I didn't want to miss out on the one item. So um, I went back and placed another item, kind of almost wish I would have gotten two of one thing, but um, I decided just to leave it at one. Hopefully maybe in the future there'll be more items for sale. So yeah, we're just going to get started. Um, as you can see, there are a bunch of, there are a bunch of heads, those are all blank heads from the um, Chaos, all of it's from Chaos, and then here are some painted heads, and then this is a... As you can see, Coco. This is a Coco boy body. So, like I said, very, very exciting. So I'm just going to move this over to the side, bring our camera down so you can see things, and we'll get started. So since I already mentioned about the boy body, I'm gonna pull him out. Um, so this is the way it comes in chaos. It is uncut shell, is what they call it. So the shell piece is just the vinyl pieces that you, um, that the doll is made up. Oh my God, this is so, this is just so amazing. It's so gorgeous. Oh my God, this cocoa color is so gorgeous. There have been so many people waiting for a cocoa boy. Um, so right now, this is the only way that you can get it. Um, they only had the cocoa bodies in chaos um, just the one day. Like I said, I'm not sure whether or not He's gonna do that again. Um, I know with the cinnamon and the milk, he did it several times, but oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So yeah, he comes with all of these shell pieces in vinyl. So you got the bust, the torso. Um, it has flashing on it, so you'd have to cut all this flashing off. Uh, there were a couple of chaos bundles for the boys that it was um, the cut version but um, he's been doing this. Basically, it takes a lot of time for them to cut these pieces and put the dolls together and everything. So um, I think that's why he's deciding to do it this way, just because it's easier on them time-wise and they can get out more dolls to people. 
Now the only thing is, is that you have to buy the shell and the frame. The frame is a skeleton separately. So there is his legs. And then you also have to buy a head separately. Um, there has been, I think there actually still is the Adam head in the chaos section that you can buy that is in the Coco. There it is, his feet. Um, but you can also, and what I did, and this is actually the head I already have, this is a COS head. Um, and by COS, I mean it's the stamp that's on the back of it, COS. And this is the same sculpt head that um, is used for Fortitude and Envisage, um, and also Adam. So Adam is actually a COS, COS head. And um, so, yeah, I got one blank in a Chaos, like, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago. I've had this one for a while. So it's been sitting around waiting because I knew that eventually they were going to do a Coco body for the boy. Um, I really would love to have a Coco boy with the um, macho arms instead of the slim arms, but... I'm okay with the slim arms. I mean, I, I'm definitely okay. The slim arms are really, really nice. Um, the macho arms and the macho bust just kind of add a variety to the boys. So it's kind of cool to have um, multiple looks going on, like one more muscular than the other. So this is going to be a smart doll Coco boy at some point. Um, I'm not good at cutting stuff or vinyl. I don't have very good hand strength or anything like that. Um, so yeah, my husband's going to cut this out for me. So we're just gonna move those aside so that we can pull out some other things. All right, so with that, um, I also bought the frame, which the frame is the skeleton pieces. So they'll come in a bag. They're already like assembled. Um, like if you get an unassembled chaos, unassembled chaos um, pieces, they could be like every individual piece and you have to like get all the pieces to put it together. But these are already like put together for you. So you don't have to like screw all this together or anything like that. Um, you just have to put the frame together and then and then heat up the vinyl and um, yeah, and you have a doll. I'm gonna put these all back in this bag. Whoa, that's a noise. So yeah, that is the skeleton. It includes everything that you need to put your vinyl boy together. All right, next we're gonna go, I think we're gonna do the blank heads first and then we're going to do the painted heads. So, First, we're going to do cinnamon. So I got one, two, three, whoa, four, five, six. So six of my heads are cinnamon. We'll see. Hopefully, there are different ones. And um, none of them look like the semi real with the nostrils, though. Okay, so this is a COS, C-O-S, so if anybody, like, is wanting to um, get a cinnamon head to have a custom boy made, COS is definitely the, um, is a good head for that. I mean, you can use any head. I actually um, have used the Kanata head, which I think I have one in this mix, but this is um, C-O-S COS that Adam has, and um, yeah, you can do your own face up on that. Um... I believe I already have a cost in cinnamon, so I will probably sell that one. Okay, then we have a Geo One. Geo One is actually the Geo One is actually, and this is what it says on the back. Geo One. Geo One is the head that actually um, Entropy, I believe, is the name of the girl doll, but Gemini also uses the same head. So, or is it Geo2? Now I'm getting confused between Geo2 and Geo1. One of them um, is Genesis. I think that's what her name is. And then Gemini is the boy. 
but I, I'm pretty sure this is Gemini because of the chin. So yeah, we've got a Geo one. This one does not have any writing on the back at all. So this is the one that um, is for Kanata and a couple of the other um, of the dolls. Quite a few dolls use this head. It's it's um, in a database that is on one of the smart doll groups. It says it's the F6 head, um, which you know I, I we just kind of say Kanata because everybody knows Kanata, and uh, it's kind of she's got more of the um, close eyed or more of the slim eye, and um, I've used this head for a boy, so it is a great for a boy as well. So, so far I've got some good heads that I could use for boys. All right, and this one is gonna be Geo 2. So this is a Geo 2. It's the stamp on the back of the head. And um, like I said, this is, yeah, definitely this one is, the Geo 1 is Gemini and the Geo 2 is Genesis. Um, but they both can be used for boy heads. Uh, I believe at the beginning, when they first showed Gemini, it was going to be the Geo 2, but they switched it over to Geo 1, I think. That is from what my recollection is, but that may be incorrect. All right, moving along. Next cinnamon head. We have another Geo 2. So I got two Geo 2s in cinnamon. And I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably sell most of these. And I got another cost. So I have two costs, a Kanata, two Geo2s, and one Geo1. Um, I believe Geo1 and Geo2 no longer is available. So I like, can't even see the heads. Is no longer available, so um, you can only get them as blank heads now. So it's definitely if you want one of those heads, then it's best to like look secondhand to try and find somebody that's selling him them. But I will, I will be selling these um, probably because I already have um, I already have Gemini and I already have a Kanata boy head. So yeah, those are the cinnamon heads. Push those aside. Okay, next we have we have one cocoa head. And this is Cal. So Cal, which is just the, the stamp on the back, C-A-L. Um, this has never been a release doll. There was only one doll that was in the prototype garage that had this sculpt. And um, I think it was I think Meow was the name of the prototype that is in there you can check you can go through uh, the prototypes or you can search on smart doll website under meow and yes like the cat meow m-e-o-w and um, it should pull it up but that's the only head that i'm aware of that was ever used for the sculpt i guess he just decided not to use it for anything else so this is a head that um can only be purchased in a chaos in a chaos uh, pack all right next we have one two and three tea heads okay. so the first tea head does not have a stamp on it so again this is um, Kanata also uh, journey um, Oh my gosh, my mind's going blank. There, there are quite a few dolls that have the same head sculpt. But yeah, it does not have a stamp on the back, so that is why I know it's an F6 Kanata head. And I don't think I have any use for, for a Kanata head for anything, so... Okay, this is a Koss. So this could be good for a boy or a girl as well. So that's another Koss, but in T. Looks like we have another Koss. Yep, another Koss. So yeah, I might decide to do something with some of these heads, 
get some custom face-ups or something on them, but we'll see. So now, two blue heads. I'm excited to know who they are. I'm gonna try not to look at the back yet until I pull it out so that it can be a surprise. So here is the front of her and cow. So we have a cow, C-A-L, stamp on the back. She's a real cutie. And I think this actually might be the same one. These are the exact two that I got in the last chaos that I uh, received. I was really hoping to get um, the F4, but yep, it's another cow. But yeah, these are great because the blue heads, I mean, you can't, any of these you can't really buy like separately or blank like you can like Dolphy Dreams. So these are the only way that you can get it is if you go to their website and buy the Chaos Head Packs or um, purchase them from somebody that are selling them secondhand. All right. Now that brings us to the three paint of heads that I got. I normally don't buy the paint of heads, but there were some really cool um, things that were going on that he was showing in the... Move these guys over that we're showing um, pictures of that you could possibly have a chance to get a really cool um, sculpt that hasn't been around for a while. And um, I already noticed that this is a regular Coco, so I didn't get the old Coco version heads. There, he showed two of them that was possibilities to get in this, but I did not get this. So this is gonna be the T head. I got courage oh my god oh my gosh so this is the uh the, and this is the geo4 he actually discontinued the geo4 for valiant and um liberty and uh, he hasn't released courage yet and he's decided to use courage for with the geo7 but i got the geo4 oh my god i've been wanting this ever since i saw it unfortunately i'm going to have to when he does release her, I'm gonna to have to get her anyways, the Geo 7 one, because I need the body, because I want the um, the Vitiligo on the uh, chest and neck piece as well. But for now, yes, I got her, I got her, I got her. So exciting, yay. Okay, so, ooh, chaos is good. All right, next we're gonna go with the cinnamon. Dun, dun, dun. This says Mariah on it, and it is, I don't know who this is. It's a cinnamon, and um, I have no idea. Is this actually Mariah, or is this a different? I don't know who this is. I don't think the bag said anything. I don't think he put stickers on anything. No, I don't see any stickers on it. Oh, is there a sticker inside maybe? No, there's no sticker inside. So, I don't know, but she is in cinnamon. I really like her eyelashes. I'm gonna have to like um, search online and uh, look at a few pictures before I ask somebody in the group because um, I like to try and figure it out myself. But yeah, that is the cinnamon one. And last but not least, we have a cocoa. Unfortunately, like I said, it's not the old cocoa color, but it is. Oh, is this, is this, um, Okay, so this doesn't have a stamp on the back, so this is one of the F6 heads, and I believe this is the one that um, has been recently discontinued. Um, oh my gosh, not Ruby. I don't think Ruby. I can't believe I forget the name. It's like on the tip of my tongue. But, yeah. She was recently, um, I think this is the one that was recently discontinued. So, there we have it. Three painted heads, 12 blank heads. Um, I already have the blue cow head. 
so a lot of these are going to, I'm going to probably be sewing because um, I already have a cow cocoa head. I may or may not keep one of the Geo 1 or Geo 2s in case if I want to do a boy, but yes, this one, this one, uh, yes. Uh, this one's the most exciting right here. Well, besides besides the Coco Boy body that is all the way over here by himself. So there you have it. That is it, my chaos box opening video. Um, yeah. If you're on if you're on any of the Facebook groups, I usually post there when I put things up for sale. Um, I'm gonna have to decide which ones I'm actually gonna sell. I'm gonna take a picture of all the items just so that people can see the things that I got in chaos and then um, I usually post them later in the day or the next day of what I'll be selling but this girl this girl oh my gosh she's like the she's like one of she was the one that I really really was hoping for and I was really hoping for an old um, Coco girl head this is a great head they are all great heads i'm not saying anything whatsoever complaining about any of them they're all amazing because you can't get the smart doll heads separately on the website so this is the only way that you can get it um, a lot of people like have floating heads and just keep a couple of bodies so that because they don't have a lot of space um, unfortunately if you <laughs> see all of the ones down here these are mostly my smart dolls and a couple of dolphy dreams um, I might start doing that myself. I haven't decided because I like to like have all the characters like dressed in certain clothing. Um, so having floating heads, it's just like, unless you're displaying them with the wigs and stuff, then that's awesome. But, um, that is it for now. Um, really excited to put some eyes in the, um, courage head and showing her off. Um, yeah, so I still have my Dalits order to arrive. Um, I think we're only on two months. I think it might be three months is their processing time. I'm going to have to double check on that. Other than that, there is no more boxes at this time that are coming in unless something drops in chaos again or um, one of the smart dolls that I've been wanting which is um, Batgirl. I really want to, gonna, want to get Batgirl. I missed out on Supergirl. And yes, I know Supergirl is is like on sale at Fabric Friends and Dolls. Um, unfortunately, I don't want to pay $1,600 for her. So um, yeah. Then there is Blue Prowess, which I want to get her too. So I'm crossing my fingers that, um, yeah, soon. By the end of this year, I'm hoping to have at least blue prowess. Um, I don't know when Batgirl is coming out. There hasn't been a date release on her. So thank you so much for watching. Um, feel free to leave some comments. I'm going to start doing some, uh, now that um, my orders are under control for Halloween stuff in my Etsy shop, um, I'm going to try to do some doll projects and then I'm going to start doing, trying to do some regular videos with different things, including um, going over some smart doll stuff. So stay tuned. And until next time, take care. Stay safe.